Communities united. We are speaking with one voice. Against a plan to build a state-proposed bullet train in their neighborhoods. It is not right that they come through Santa Clarita to no benefit to our valley and to destroy, take schools like Sulphur Springs Elementary where I went to grade school and destroy these historical landmarks. It was a resounding no. How many of you want the high-speed rail to come through your communities? As hundreds of residents from Santa Clarita, San Fernando, Acton, and Agua Dulce rallied to get plans on the table to move the train underground and not through their homes. Stop the $68 billion crazy train now! State officials say by 2029, the train will run from San Francisco to Los Angeles, capable of reaching speeds of over 200 miles per hour. You know, when this, I first was elected governor, I had some doubts about this project. Because I wasn't quite sure where the hell we're going to get the rest of the money. But don't worry about it. We're, we're going to get it. And we've overcome a lot of obstacles. And everything, as, as you've heard, everything big uh, runs into opposition. Yesterday, the High Speed Rail Authority and the city of Palmdale entered into a station area funding agreement as part of plans to run the line through the Santa Clarita Valley to Burbank. Proponents of the plan say it brings jobs in a greener environment. But those who are set to lose their homes say otherwise. If you're standing three feet from a high-speed rail, it's the sound of a jackhammer. So imagine how loud that would be going through Canyon Country every 12 minutes. Members of a Sand Canyon church, which sits in the train's path, say they want their community given a fair chance at keeping both the church and their homes. We don't want to relocate, but what's more of a concern is the impact that it will be to our community. Um, our church will get relocated, but everybody anywhere near it isn't going to be relocated. City officials say the fight isn't over and plan to do more in the future. Maybe if we had put some of that money in education, the people that put this together would be able to add and subtract, and we wouldn't have been sold a bill that $10 billion, and it turns out to be $68 billion. For Signal News Now, I'm Austin Dave.